Taiwan's father of democracy, Li Tenghui, has died at the age of 97. How he gifted liberty to the Taiwanese is a story of great courage. He became the country's first democratically elected president in an act of defiance that China still remembers bitterly. Today, as China's intimidating war games continue, the people of Taiwan will remember Li's life and draw upon his dream of not being ruled by Beijing. Taiwan is mourning the death of a hero, a brave man who defied China and enshrined democracy in Taiwan. President Li Tenghui has died at the age of 97. The current president Tsai Ing-wen is his protege. She draws from his legacy. Today, Tsai is facing China's military bullying. So did Li in his time. Li first became president in 1988, elected by an authoritative legislative body, not by the Taiwanese people. Many believed him to be an autocrat too in the mold of the first president, Chiang Kai-shek. In 1990, Li faced his moment of truth. The Wild Lily student protest broke out. Nearly 300,000 demonstrators demanded democracy. Li welcomed some of the students to the presidential building and told them he would turn Taiwan into a democracy. This is considered to be the finest moment in Taiwan's political history. Over the next five years, Li strived to overturn the suspended democratic functions. He began to reform the political system from within. China turned hysterical and called Li a secessionist with a plan to split the motherland. In 1996, days before the first democratic presidential elections in Taiwan, China sent missiles over the island to warn the Taiwanese against voting for Li. This political missile backfired, boosting support for Li. Beijing could not stop him from becoming Taiwan's first democratically elected president. China will not forgive Li for this act of defiance, not even in his death. The Global Times obituary for Li is not an obituary, but a bitter retort to a dead old man. China has called him the godfather of Taiwan Sessionism, a great man who eventually became a national sinner. Li kept a secret, perhaps not wanting to reveal it ever. He concealed it until retiring from politics in 2000. In an interview in 2002, Li said he was a member of the Communist Party of China in his youth, although only for a brief while. He left the party and became a champion of democracy. Li valued freedom. As a child, he grew up under the Japanese colonial rule with dreams of touring the world. From operating an anti-aircraft gun during the Second World War to getting a PhD at Cornell University in America. From his family's small rice and tea farm to the presidential office. Li's journey showed him the path of both war and peace. In the end, Li made a decision. He liberated himself by liberating Taiwan. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.